Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. As you can see behind me, you're seeing double. I got both the cranes finished. This one here is the one we load tested the other day. I'm fixing to load test this other one. There were a lot of questions and answers and doubts and stuff in the last video still about the load case for it and whether we're still gonna fall apart or not. So we're gonna do this one a little bit different. I'll show you what I got set up. I went and got one of my trolleys and put on the beam to be exactly the way this will be used in operation. So it won't exactly because it's not gonna have a hoist near this big on it, but this is testing overkill. So I got that set up to where I'll be able to put a load on it and move it from one end to the other and see if this thing collapses or not. And over there, you'll see the oven, which is gonna be my test weight. I couldn't use the crane scale, the scale on here and pick up the oven because it won't lift high enough. The scales, you know, that thing takes up three foot of chain and time you get that below the hoist, it's too low. So I'm gonna have to do it this way. So the oven is lifted off of the ground, hanging on the main crane. And let's see what it weighs, if you can tell with this thing. This is at a pretty severe angle to it. So focus. It's doing a little better there. Yeah, try it at 4,500. And remember, I'm down at a way angle here, so it may look a little less, but that's what it is. I already did the 6,000 pound load on this one like I did the other one to check it and verify that it was good for that. So this is just gonna be a 100% plus duty load on here uh, that we're gonna move around on it and see what happens. So I'll sit it down off the main crane and get it slung back up on this one. I'll bring it back. Well, there it is up in there is the swinging load off the ground. And I'll stand on the back. I'd like it 4700. Guess that's a dynamic load. Can't move very good. Let it down. 
Move it to one end and raise it back up. Well, that's all the way over as far as I can go. It's gonna be really hard on those casters. Looks like it's 11 and an eighth from the center of the beam to the floor sitting right here. So I load it up, check it. Sorry about that, it ran out of battery. Anyway, uh, it's up off the floor. It just won't swing anymore because it's over against the side here. Uh, Cause it's over as far to as wide as this is. So let's see what the deflection is. About 11 and 16, so about a 16th of an inch it's going down. But 5,000 pounds on this one end. Can't roll it. Well, I can't really pull it, but I got one more idea. Well, this is likely a terrible idea, but uh, nevertheless, I want to be sure that these things are safe. I uh, want to explore every uh, venture possible. So I've got here a 430 John Deere uh, garden tractor, a three point hitch, 60 inch mower deck. This thing probably weighs Mm, it might be close to a ton. It's over a thousand pounds anyway, I'm sure. So it should be able to put a pretty decent pull on this thing. I've got it strapped to the bottom of the hoist and uh, I'm going to see how this thing does. Uh, it's pretty much the worst case scenario. I've got all the weight to this one end and I'm prying on it too. So hopefully it'll hold. Fingers crossed.
see it. It's just rolling out here. I'm satisfied that's about as thorough of a test as could be done on this and it held. Uh, I did, I mean, I tried to wisp on it with this thing and it just spun out here on the concrete and uh, it's hooked right to the drawbar on the back. But uh, doesn't have enough traction to pull that much and that's way more than any person can pull, I'm sure. Uh, I'm quite confident that I can't uh, grab a hold of the back of this thing and hold it back. Uh, it's too big a mower for that. You know, it's, it's, this thing is a three-cylinder diesel, 24 horse, and it's got the mower deck on it for added weight hanging here in the middle, and it's heavy. Uh, you can handle them, but they're, it's probably 300 pounds or something like that for that deck. Right, so I'm satisfied. I'm ready to load these on the trailer and deliver them to the customer and uh, call this job one in the books. Uh, it's definitely suits me and I'm sure it's going to suit them and I've tested everything I can think of on this to be sure that it's 100% safe uh, at the rated load that it is and uh, so we got 5,000 pounds hanging off of it right now. Well, not right now. I wasn't, I'm not on it, but it's 4,700 probably between the hoist and this because this is 45 on the scale. And that, uh, that chain falls. It's all I can pick up. So it's at least 250 probably. It's all I want to pick up anyway. And you can see it. Hopefully you saw it move there. It is off the ground still. Well, obviously I was dragging it down here or something. Okay, we're center loaded. So one more time, try and wishbone this thing. See what happens. So right now the brakes are unlocked, so it shouldn't move. If it moves a little bit, I'll lock the brake and give it another tug and see what happens. So you can see the tires on the mower from here. So I won't narrate any of it. We'll just try it and see what happens. I see the mower creeping back a little bit. The spring and the steel is dragging it backwards. But the nuts clearly held, and uh, that's way more than what you ought to be doing with it. So I'm gonna say this is good to go.
Well, I know I've got it this time. The inspector's come to give it the lag of approval. Just checking them over. They good? Yeah, they're good. Inspector Light. Good enough, he's heading to the house. So, that's where I'm fixing to be too. I'm satisfied that these are all they're supposed to be. Uh, don't know what else I could test on them. Uh, the flexions look good. Uh, nothing excessive. Uh, didn't break anything off, even dragging on it with the, the uh, big lawnmower. And uh, so that, that is a, it is a big mower. So if you want to look one of them up online, they're for, I, I might look and see what they weigh. I think they're 15 or a pound or something like that. They're pretty heavy. And uh, pull all it would pull on this and just spun out on this concrete. And it's way more than I could pull and probably more than two people could pull. And we did the pry test and didn't have any issues there either. Uh, loaded at both ends and there was no issues with that. The same within the middle. Even got the trolley on this time so it's uh, loaded on the lower flange and everything looks good. I see no problems with this whatsoever. And hopefully you've enjoyed the build and getting to see all the testing that was done to verify that uh, what I think they are is what they are and to be sure that they're safe, that there's nothing defective about it. And they both passed the test with flying colors, tested both of the cranes individually to max loads, uh, 6,000 pounds in the middle, and then they had the, the oven on this other one at both ends and so that's like 5,000 pounds between it and the hoist. And me, or at least 4,500 anyway, so it's definitely good for the 4,000 these are ready for. Well, I think I've probably learned some stuff from doing this, and hopefully you have too. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll catch y'all later.